Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing makeup. Um, so this is a, another round of ignore my freaking background. I still haven't figured out what my plan is for when I want to film here because it's just kind of a shit show. Um, I'm hoping the lighting is okay because I don't have light set up over here. So we're just we're living on a prayer right now. Okay, so today I have a big ass box from Charlotte Tilbury. My husband for Christmas definitely spoiled me and he ended up getting me the Charlotte Tilbury mystery box. I don't think this is available anymore, but I will try to find the products that are inside um, and then link them all down below. So I've got this big box full of Charlotte Tilbury stuff. And then I also have a few things from my own collection. And then some gift with purchases. The box came with gift with purchases. So today we're doing a full face of Charlotte Tilbury as well as uh, a mystery box unboxing. Okay. And then I will go through the gift with purchases. So I am going to get started. I have, like I said, I have a couple of products from my regular collection. Um, I've got the mystery box and then I don't have enough for a full, full face. So I will be bringing in a couple of other products, but for the most part, I do have enough. Everything's everywhere. I'm just organized as per usual and we are going to jump right into this. Um, I'm going to just spritz literally some of the Kapari Coconut Rose toner on my skin because, oh yeah. That's just what I've been using, and it's been working out really well for me. I'm going to try to put my hair up. My hair does not like to be put up, though. Okay, so the, there are a few things in the box that are not, like, makeup-y. The first is the Charlotte Tilbury Goddess Skin Clay Mask. This I won't be using today because um, I don't need to use a mask, but I'm excited about this. I have heard great things about Charlotte Tilbury's Clay Mask. Visibly lifts, smooths, brightens, and tighten pores for baby skin. How wonderful does that sound, genuinely? So this I'm definitely going to give a try. Um, I'll probably post something in like Instagram stories about it because I am very excited for that. And then we also have the Charlotte Magic Cream. This is the Instant Turner on Moisturizer. This is just so, so luxe. So both of these were in the mystery box. This is what the cream looks like. This I'm definitely going to use today. I have used this before and I love it. It's such a good moisturizer. So moisturize. Wow, that was a lot. I probably did not need that much. I'm blind and it's really hard to film while doing my makeup because I cannot see any part of what I'm doing. So I have a little mirror that is exceptionally dirty right now. And then I've got the mirror behind the camera because my layout is not made for filming like this. And yeah, it's a good time. I got another light because that was not working for me. So, Magic Cream, love it, it's so good. Now I can actually I can actually see a little bit better. I have another light, yeah, okay. So, moving on to other goodies in the box. We have the Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Youth Glow. This is the anti-aging, color correcting glow booster. Apparently this is a primer. It doesn't say that though at all, but this is what it looks like. Um, it looks just like the packaging for the Color Wonder Foundation, which is the foundation that we'll be using today. Um, I'm interested in this. See how well it really brightens. I've never tried like their primers or anything, um, or a concealer, and I almost bought, so I don't have a Charlotte Tilbury concealer to this day, I still don't. I almost bought one for this video, um, and then I was like, eh, I don't really need another concealer like that has ever stopped me but still you know I'm trying to be better I can get on board with that I can get on board with that that's actually not a bad primer and then pulling in for my own collection this is not in the mystery box but this is the Hollywood flawless filter this is supposed to be like a highlight and I'm gonna be completely honest I use it like as a color corrector because it just makes your skin look so good mine is in the shade light too and I literally just all over the face and then we blend it out. Um, I'll be blending it out today with an extremely dirty beauty blender. Also, for my own personal collection, this is the Light Wonder Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation. Mine is in the shade Too Fair. I don't know if this is a shade match for me. We are going to find out. I believe that it is. It looks a little bit light though. And I have not used this in forever. So it's gonna be interesting. I really should clean this mirror. I really should. This is nice though. It's 
definitely light coverage. So I genuinely, I've had this for a while. I've used it a couple of times, but not like anything crazy. You know what I mean? So I couldn't tell you how it works for me because I honestly don't remember. So it's like a first impression all over again. And like, that's why sometimes I'll start talking about a product. Like I have no idea what it is. And it's like a product that I use all the time. I eventually figure it out. But this one I've only used a couple of times. So I don't know for certain how I feel about it. I have a better mirror now. Um, I'm going to do like a second layer type thing to see if that pumps up the coverage. It does seem to be making a little bit of a difference. I have a lot of dry skin on my nose right now too because I just got over being sick. So I'm still kind of like sniffly. So I do like this. It is light, like very light, but it is a really good shade match. Um, for me because I am pale um, and then for concealer I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape in light just because that's what I happen to have and like I said I don't have a Charlotte Tilbury concealer um, but I have most everything else Charlotte Tilbury I also don't have a Charlotte Tilbury powder though but I think that's it I'm pretty sure but so I've been using Charlotte Tilbury for a while now and so far I like mo like I like all of the products that I've tried. There's definitely ones that I still want to try and actually a couple of them are were in this box because I have looked through the box to figure out what else I needed to grab for this video. Um, and I'm pretty pleased with it if I do say so myself. Okay, one of the other things that came in this box is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. It's an easy highlighter. It's a liquid highlighter. So I'm gonna put this on before I do any powder. This is interesting to me. It's very dark. This is in the shade Goldgasm, which <laughs> concerns me. Um, and hi, oh, oh, that's cute. So it's got like this little ball thing. Okay, and we're gonna squeeze. Look at that shade. Okay, we're gonna try it out. What can it hurt? I'm gonna do, whoa, that's, ooh, okay. Well, that is gold. So I'm blending them in with the corner of the Beauty Blender and nothing much is happening. So I'm gonna do, and it's probably because I have concealer on that blender, obviously. Um, although normally I don't have much of an issue with that. So we're going to do that and then I am going to get a little brush brush and just stipple that in. And the same thing is happening. So this is really like glow from within, I guess. Okay, so I don't have a pressed powder for, from Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm going to use the one that's in my weekly makeup basket, which is... Um, also in a project pan right now. This is the Balm Sexy Mama. I'm using the crap out of it. And I'm just going to use this to set my space. And then we will move on to further Charlotte Tilbury products. I will say, um, I'm liking this foundation. Uh, I'm liking the way that it looks. I can live with it. I can handle that. Um, I really am though. I think it looks really nice. It looks really good in person on this skin. So I like that. Um, now though, we are going to move on to other other things. We're going to move on to other face products. So from my own personal collection, I have this palette. This is the Instant Look in a Palette 5 Minute Face on a Go in Smoky Eye Beauty. Um, it's a beautiful palette. It is rather dark. I don't normally do a whole lot of smoky eyes, so I don't quite know what the hell I'm going to do with my look today, but I am going to use the bronze shade right here as a bronzer. Um, this is also very light. I'm not sure if that's like intentional that everything is so light. This is way too big of a brush for this, but it's cool. We are going to power on. This is pretty much how I do my makeup every day. You know, I just go for it. Okay, but I like that bronzer. Now bear in mind, I don't have my regular magnifying mirror because I can't see it. It looks blended in, but I like that bronzer a lot. Okay, I can live with that. There is a, a couple of blushes in here actually, but I am going to use this, which is from the Mystery Box. This is the Cheek to Chic Swish and Glow Blusher. This is what it looks like. It's such like fancy packaging, and it kind of um, is reminiscent of a nipple almost. 
Am I the only one who sees that? I don't know, but I'm excited. This is one of those things that I've wanted to try out for a while, so we are going to do it today. I'm going to just get a nice little mix of both of the shades and pop it on the apples of my cheeks. I always go really heavy handed with blush, and I don't know why. I just, ugh. That is really heavy handed. I'm gonna go in with my powder brush and just <laughs> tap over that. Try to reduce it down a little bit. I like that though. I do. So for highlight, I used that cream highlight, um, which was nice, but I think I'm also gonna go over it with the highlight in this palette, which is this one right here, just because that one was not very popping. You can see like a little of the glimmer, which I do appreciate, but I'm gonna do just a little bit of this highlight, which, and this one is like a totally different shade. You know, I like this though. This is beautiful. It's not my regular shade, but I can live with it. This, this palette in and of itself, I really like. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of like the, the black smoky eyes. I like like darker smoky eyes, but not necessarily stark black. And that's what this is. So the eyes are going to be interesting. Okay. So also from the mystery box, we have the rock and coal iconic liquid eye pencil. This is in the shade Rushka mink. Um, it's a really beautiful, like, grayish tone, almost. So I'm going to put this on my waterline and just kind of hope for the best here. Okay, I like that. I feel like there's a lot of creasing under my eyes, though, which I'm not 100% sure as to why that is. But this liner is actually really nice. It's got a good color payoff, um, and it really does just glide over the eyes. Genuinely glide. Okay. So I've got a couple of different eye products. So I've got um, this, which came in the mystery box. This is the Eyes to Mesmerize Long Lasting Easy Color in Marie Antoinette. So it's this cute little potted product. And then you just have like a whipped um, eye base in this beautiful shade. Oh, like I think that is absolutely stunning. And then from my own personal collection, I have one of the Color Chameleon Champagne Diamonds. This is meant to be for blue eyes, but I have it. And this is just like an eye stick. And then I also have the freaking palette. Um, so I don't quite know what I'm gonna do today. All right, so we're just gonna go into it. Um, I think, Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna try to do. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try. So I'm gonna go into this shade right here and put this in my crease, and we are going to see if my plan works. And I feel like I should use some eye primer though. I'm just gonna go in with the NYX HD eyeshadow base, just a little bit on the eyelid and kind of blend it out just so I've got something because otherwise I get very concerned. I have really oily eyelids. I have to set them with something. Do you know what I mean? We're just gonna pat that down. And we're just gonna, you know, we're gonna let it work for us. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with that shade. Um, I'm really nervous because this is definitely different from, there's a lot of different textures going on here and I don't know how well this is gonna work. So wish me luck. Okay, so I have the crease shade on, which was from this palette. I think I'm gonna focus on one eye at a time from right now, for right now. I'm gonna take this, the color Chameleon Pencil for blue eyes, which I don't have. But I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna sharpen it up a little bit, and I'm going to put this all over the lid, or at least like in the middle of the lid. Let's see, we'll see how it goes. Put that right there. Oh my god, that is so freaking pretty. So I do use this quite a bit. It has been sharpened a couple of times. So now what I'm gonna do, because I'm gonna go back and do the other one in a second. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the um, Mesmerize potted thing and I'm gonna put a little bit in the inner corner and kind of blend that out. And then I'm gonna put a little bit in the outer corner Kind of blend that out, maybe. Mm. I don't love it. 
but I don't hate it. Those shades really kind of go with each other. So there's like a little bit of extra light in the center of the lid, but not like a crazy amount. I'm going to take a super teensy tiny brush and I'm gonna go into the dark shade and I'm going to try to darken up that outer corner without messing up the liquid. Okay, I went a little, uh, went a little heavy on the side there, but I think the basic idea of what I'm trying to do is there, you know, so I just have to fix that now. Thank you. So it isn't exactly how I imagined it, but I can kind of get on board. I'm going to do my other eye really quick and then we'll figure out liners and brows and all that fun stuff. Okay, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, it's not perfect, but for how little thought went into it, I'm pretty happy. I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting with the brightening shade right there, and then I've got to do brows. I'm not in love with the look, but I honestly, I don't know if I like that or not. I actually don't have a Charlotte Tilbury brow product. So I'm going to use the Wander Beauty, the Frame Your Face Micro Brow Pencil in Dark Brown because it looks the closest to Charlotte Tilbury packaging. So I'm going to do my brows really quick and then we will move on to eyeliner, mascara, and lippies, which let's be honest are the most exciting parts. I'm going to do lip liner really quick because I feel just naked with no lip liner. So this is the Lip Cheat Reshape and Resize Lip Liner in the shade Savage Rose, which is a really, really pretty red. That is gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna line my lips really quick. Probably fill them in, because that's what I normally do. Um, although maybe not, I don't know. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna line them. I have misshapen lips too, so they're not even. This side goes up a lot more than this side does. And that's normally why I fill it in, because it's very hard to get it right with the shape of my lips. But I'm feeling like, why the hell not today? Okay, so now that I have my lips lined, um, this mystery box came with two lippies. We have the Latex Love Long Lasting Intense Lip Gloss in Video Vixen. And then Hollywood Lips Matte Contour Liquid Lipstick in Platinum Blonde. So this one is Video Vixen, and this one is Platinum Blonde. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to do Video Vixen. So I'm going to apply this. So this is the Latex Love Long Lasting Intense Lip Gloss. And lip gloss always freaks me out. I'm uh, not a huge hello. This is a lot thicker than a regular lip gloss too. It's kind of patchy. Okay. I'm going to born with that. Um, and I'm re-debating my eyes. They're not as sharp as I want them to be. Like it's just kind of all... Mm. I don't know. I'm going to leave them. I'm going to leave them. Nothing good is going to come from that. We're going to leave them. Okay, moving on. So I actually don't have a liquid liner from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm debating. I probably should. I probably should at least do like a tight line maybe. So I think I'm just going to use the Rock and Coal Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil. This is not liquid. That bothers me. The fact that they call this liquid and it's not liquid. That bugs me. So I tight lined it and then I decided that I wanted a little bit of extra dimension. So I put a little bit on the upper lash line and I'm just going to kind of smudge that out a little bit. I'm going to go back into this pencil and just re-up the very center there. Then I'm also going to use this pencil right in the inner corner. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay, so I feel like I'm still missing something though. I know I still need to do mascara, but I feel like I'm still missing something on the eyes. I just don't know what. This is basically me doing my makeup though. There's never an end goal. There's never a game plan. Okay, so last but not least, we have mascara. This is the Full Fat Lashes 5 Star Mascara in glossy black. The packaging for this is phenomenal. And this is what it looks like. It's really pretty packaging. I'm gonna open it. I have so many mascaras I need to use up and I'm gonna open this. Okay, basic brush. Like genuinely just a full-on basic brush. 
Um, and I'm going to go in. And we're going to do it. Okay. I almost feel like this would have really been a good look to do false lashes with, but it's too late for that now. I don't know. Um, now, also, I don't have any Charlotte Tilbury setting sprays, so I am going to use the, the Milani Make It Dewy setting spray. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to do my hair really quick, and then we're going to discuss final thoughts and the um, freebies that came with the mystery box order because at the time they were doing a promotion. I'll explain it all. So give me two minutes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have zoomed you guys back out. It has been a while since I have done like such a dark lip and I don't know why because I actually really like it, but that is today's look. Um, so in the box, not the mystery box, like the actual packaging box, in the box I have some freebies. Um, okay, so basically when my husband ordered this, there were deals. I don't remember exactly what the deals were, um, but I got a cute little bag. This is adorable. It's got Charlotte Tilbury's lips and then the lipstick. It's a see-through bag. It says Charlotte Tilbury on the other side. Um, this is cute. And then we also got two of the Hollywood Lips Matte Contour Liquid Lipsticks in the shade Pin Up Pink and Dolly Bird. It has been literally killing me to not open up this stuff, but I knew that I wanted to do like a semi first impressions. Okay, so this one is Pin Up Pink and this one is Dolly Bird. These are definitely like Dolly Bird is gorgeous. So I'm liking those. And then it also came with the Charlotte Tilbury Scent of a Dream perfume. This is a one fluid ounce. Um, I'm excited about this because this is like, this was an excellent freebie. This is a very nice size perfume. The bottle is, ooh. Look at how, like, old-fashioned Hollywood glamour that looks. I love that. Let's see if it smells good. Okay. Um, it's got, like, that old Hollywood glamour scent to it, I guess. Okay, so here, here are my final thoughts. I like everything. I do. I don't think that this look is going to hold up very well because it's starting to like cake up a little bit. However, um, I think that that could easily be fixed by maybe not using all Charlotte Tilbury products in conjunction. Um, I don't know how well these are doing with like a base powder and I'm wondering if they would look better. You know, maybe that's the issue. Maybe I used a non-Charlotte Tilbury powder. I don't know. I do like how it looks, though. I wouldn't put this on if I had to wear it. You know, like, I've been getting ready at, like, 6 in the morning. I wouldn't put this on if I had to go from 6 in the morning to midnight at night. I wouldn't do that. But for today, I think it's nice. For this look, I think it's nice. I do like all the products, actually. I do wish there was a little bit more to the mascara, um, just because I feel like this look would have done well with false lashes and if this had given my lashes a little bit more of like that false lash vibe this just makes them look very almost subtle if that's the right word for it I do like all of the eyeshadow products though I'm not in love with my final look but I like it enough that I'm cool with it you know and honestly I think that the hit for Charlotte Tilbury are her complexion products the primer and the foundation, I love. I actually do really like this foundation. I don't know why I haven't been wearing it. It's not as full coverage as I normally like, and maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's not that it's cakey. Maybe it's just not as full coverage, so I can see more of my own skin underneath it. And, like, that to me is coming across as cakey because I have a lot of breakouts right now. I don't know. But I actually do really like this, and I love the blush and just the palette in general. I really like those. I do question the liquid highlight though, because this blended into nothingness. I will say, it blended into nothingness, but as I went on to apply more makeup, you could see like this very faint glow. Now with Charlotte Tilbury, I expected it to be a little bit more so, um, but honestly, this had very Glossier feels to me, you know, where it's like the lit from within, kind of all natural beauty, where you don't really it's, it's not meant to be like a pout in your face type thing. I don't know. I'm babbling now. All in all though, I really liked the stuff. I did. These are fantastic. Um, this is the Ice to Mesmerize. I want more of this. This texture is incredible and it was so easy to apply and so easy to blend out. I could definitely see myself using this as like a one color eyeshadow day. 
I love it genuinely so I think this mystery box was great um, I probably will take my chances with mystery boxes from Charlotte Tilbury in the future because this was an insane value um, thank you guys so much for joining me. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite product from Charlotte Tilbury is. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.